Hey, what's going on gamers? It's your boy Hot Grim on 69 here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the Bambi characters, and I'm going to be power scaling them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below if you disagree with anything. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the list. Um, in F tier, we have Bambi's mom. Uh, she died. Not much else to say. Uh, power level is negative nine. Um, next up, we have Flower. Uh, no feeds and really horny for Bambi. Um, most times, get Flower literally named um, his child Bambi, which is kind of kind of creepy. <laughs> power level three. Um, no one else really deserves F tier. I think all the animals are really capable um, of combat themselves. So, in D tier, we have three times get Bambi. Uh, he was just born. You know, no, no combat skills, barely knows how to walk, tripped over a leaf at one point. Um, but his reaction speed and smarts are, like, insane. Uh, learned how to walk and talk in just a few days. Um, his power level is 8, just barely making it into D tier. Um, next up, we have Phalene, which is just Bambi 2.0, but she was just much better at controlling herself than Bambi. Um, there was this scene where she uses the cover of some bushes to play with Bambi, and every one of those licks she gave him could have been a fatal blow, but she spared him. Uh, power level 14. Lastly, we have Thumper. Most people put him in F tier, but I, I really disagree. Um, he has average stats except for one, which we'll go over in a second. Um, he has control on ice is insane. It really gives him the edge in a winter scenario. Um, his thumping isn't really that threatening, so his attack isn't really the best, but I, I think it might be able to help him a little in combat. Um, and this is where it gets crazy. He was able to tank Bambi's tackle attack without like sustaining any damage at all, which is absolutely crazy which a lot of people actually overlook. So I, I think that really puts Thumper in D tier, um, power level 15. Um, next up, uh, C tier, um, which is Friendly Owl. Uh, he's the ringleader of all the animals. Um, it's an insane control and wisdom. Um, not much is shown in terms of stats, but I assume he's at least decent. Um, Flight is a busted ability. And there's just one scene where he just walks on air. Like he doesn't use his wings. He just, he just walks like it's crazy. Yeah, Flight is crazy good. And he's a bunch of influence, so it's really no surprise he gets a C tier. Uh, power level 20. Um, next up, we have post time skip Thumper. Really no increase. Just barely any increase between uh, pre time skip and post time skip Thumper. But nothing is shown in terms of stats, but he can thump faster when uh, stimulated, uh, which I guess makes him a bit stronger. Uh, power level 21. Um, that's it for C tier. Um, in B tier, we have uh, post time skip Bambi. His horns, which increases his attack power, um, much more control over his body. He's very durable, tanks a lot of command grabs, um, dishes out a really good amount of damage himself, and defeats an opposing deer in his first fight, um, which shows he's still an extremely fast learner. Um, and he can walk on clouds, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, he messed up a ton of dogs, um, tanked a lot of damage, and still managed to get away from them. Just a good all rounder, and totally eclipses every other animal in terms of stats. But his abilities are nowhere near as broken as the higher tier animals, uh, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, he does have a good matchup against both of them, but this list isn't if he could win against the other animals. It's completely in a vacuum. So, while Bambi isn't the strong, or while Bambi is the strongest in the series, uh, he's not the strongest outside of it. Uh, power level six hundred twenty-seven. Um, in A tier, we have Baleen. <laughs> not not a lot in terms of basic stats, but she does have a really broken ability, um, which is the Cloud Walk. But she has the advanced version, which she can actually teleport herself and um, others into the clouds, which is actually insane because if you don't have the cloud walk or the fly ability, or if you're able to um, sustain damage um, from falling, uh, she is like it's an instant win. Like she just wins. But if you do have one of those abilities, she just completely loses. Like, yeah, there's no way Phalene's winning. Her stats are really bad. No defense, no HP, no attack. It's just her Cloud Walk ability that makes her really good. This is why Bambi actually wins this matchup, because he has the Cloud Walk ability, which is why he's the strongest in the series, but not outside of it. Um, I think Phalene has a power level of 1,200, um, which is really high for A tier, um, but her one-sided matchups really, I think, um, just keep her in A tier. There's no one in S tier, but in SS tier, we have Bambi's dad. Uh, he totally had sex with Bambi's mom, which uh, puts him in SS tier. Power level 19,998. 
And that's it for this video. If you've enjoyed, like, subscribe, um, comment down below which movie you want to see me do next. And that's it for the video. Uh, bye.